a question. What will you do to equalize the funding in Wisconsin public schools to ensure the K-12 students get all the learning opportunities that they deserve? Jill, you go first. Well, our system of funding schools is a mess. I, as a parent, I was at Emerson School with the director of finance in the district, and he explained the funding formula to us twice. And, and we're pretty smart people. I, I do have a college degree, and we <laughs> sat there shaking our heads. And I've heard some legislators talk about it being explained, explained to them a few times, and they are shaking their heads. Um, I don't think it's an um, equitable uh, way of funding right now where um, school districts that are, are wealthy, property wealthy, um, have it nice. And then school districts that are poor don't have it as nice. So there are other models out there in other states. I've seen one where you kind of get your basic, everybody gets this, and then you can decide if you want to put the icing on the cake. Um, and there are other models that I've, that I've looked at, but I think that we need to have a task force take a look at this from ground, the ground level and, and change this because it's a problem. Thank you, Kate. Uh, the, the idea of uh, getting equitable distribution of assets is a constitutional situation and the legislative situation combined. Uh, the uh, need to have adequate dollars for K-12 is a little bit different than the university system. But K-12, with the uh, laws that are currently in place, uh, deficits have come into surpluses. Instead of uh, terminating teachers, we have added teachers in these districts. Uh, the, the dollars are there if they are properly used. Assets uh, need to be carefully watched. And uh, if, uh, again, she uh, uh, is referring to, as I understand her anyway, that uh, union situation. Well, when Roosevelt uh, said it's a problem for public unions, and Carter did away with federal uh, bargaining rights, that was to solve a problem. We have a problem here. Federal employees do not have bargaining <coughs> rights. What are other than uh, the state now still has bargaining rights for wages? Fine, but let's let's keep the the uh, story straight here that uh, these benefits just are not affordable and therefore have to be reallocated so that we can keep teachers and classes properly sized. Okay, we're going to go with two more questions and one's uh, 